Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of December, December 6th through December 12th. We're just going to see what comes up for Aries. What do we have for Aries for the second week of December? This is going to be an overall energy. So I already did the first week of December, and I also did a December overall monthly reading. If you want to watch that, I will tag it to the end. So what do we have for Aries? One card, please. One card for Aries. Stuck energy. Stuck. So... This is being stuck in a rut, uh, may need some help to get out. It looks like you've been struggling. Um, you've been in some sort of, uh, well, obviously it's been raining, it's been stormy, you know. Uh, you may have found yourself in a predicament, and you know, it's hard to get out of this predicament. You're probably doing a lot of thinking, but when you get a rainbow, it means the storm is over. There's peace that is coming. There's happiness that is coming. So yeah, I feel like you've been stuck, but I feel like you've reached the end of this stuck energy. There's help arriving. I feel like help is arriving. Somebody is coming to help you out of this mess. So be prepared for that. I feel like this, I mean, it's an eight in its energy. So eights are moving on. It's abundant. So you're moving on to something more abundant, okay? Even though you're, you've been stuck and you've been in some sort of situation where it seems like you're going nowhere or you've got yourself into a predicament where, you know, uh, you've been stuck, you're about to get out of it and things are going to start moving again. So what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? In regards to their love lives. One card, please. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, you, you know, you may be reconciling with somebody or meeting somebody or... You may be with somebody that is your true love. I feel like you're going to be reconciling with somebody. And that could be somebody from a past life even. It doesn't mean that they're in this lifetime. You know, or somebody that you were with in the past. Um, I could be wrong though. This could be somebody new. It absolutely could be somebody brand new. Um, What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries for December 6th? I feel like you already know this person. You already know this person, this true love. You know who it is. What do we have for Aries? December 6th through the 12th. Four of Wands reversed. Interesting. Three of Pentacles. I would say that that is reversed. Wow. Wow. You may be in an unrequited love situation right now. You know, and that's why you're where you're stuck. Looks like there's unrequited love, but there's of no love. You may you may not be with anybody. If you're single, you may be feeling hopeless. There's a lack of commitment here, a lack of togetherness, a lack of teamwork, um, unrequited love. This party is over. The honeymoon is over. This is a messy situation. Somebody's not telling the truth. We've got the judgment reverse. So that's a lack of, of truth. That's dishonesty, um, lack of acceptance, um, not able to see the truth. Um, it's definitely a very emotional time, okay, with the Ace of Cups reverse. You may be having a hard time mastering your emotions this week. There could be the, a loss of a love. I just I got to be honest with you with that Ace of Cups reversed. Um, could be the end of a marriage, the end of a commitment with the Four of Wands reversed. There, there's somebody here that lacks respect for others, you know, that doesn't really respect another person. There's definitely some dishonesty with the with the judgment card. Um, you could also be there's emotional shutdown. There could be something to do. I mean, when you get the Ace of Cups reversed, the Ace of Cups is about heart. It's about love, um, sadness, 
sadness. There's some sort of sadness here this week. Maybe there's no reconciliation. Maybe it is somebody new. Maybe you do have somebody new. Um, with that judgment reversed. Okay, with judgment reversed, there could be some poor health. Your health may be impacted this week. Um, it could be even just depression. You may be depressed, you know, because you're stuck. You're in some sort of stuck energy. Maybe you're feeling like you're never going to be loved. You're never going to find that person. You are. Right now you're stuck, but you're about to get out of it. Okay, you're about to get out of this situation. I can see you're in a situation, a shitty situation by the looks of things. You may be feeling guilty or ashamed or you're like you've made a bad choice. But I feel like you're going to be moving on from that bad choice. Um... I feel like there's a need for advice and a need to listen adv to advice. And I think that you maybe you've had a hard time listening to advice. Maybe it's like it's almost like with that stuck energy card. It's like you knew that you knew that you shouldn't go down this path. You knew it, but you did it anyway. You know what I mean? So I feel like you need to start listening to your intuition. You haven't been listening to your intuition. I know that you haven't because that Ace of Cups is reversed. Um, unexpected choice in love here with that lover's card um, you may be dealing with somebody that is very selfish very self-centered we have the empress reversed um, you it feels like we have an individual here that is very uh, needy very clingy very uh, jealous uh, can't take care of themselves um, very materialistic you're dealing with somebody that uh, look at that ten of swords right above. Oh my god, there's pain. There's hurt. There's a lot of pain here There's suffering. There's pain and suffering. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody is hurting you It's almost like they're abusing you. They're stabbing you. You know, they're hurting you and you it's like you're allowing it You're not you're you're just allowing them to do so you really really are look at that um, that ten of swords, it's like Look at that. It looks like somebody is is uh, going overboard. It feels like in this deck. I'm not sure if somebody is taking out the the knife. It's like taking out. So help is arriving. Some sort of... And I know that help is arriving. Somebody is coming. I knew it. I knew it. Some sort of help is arriving. They're helping. They're going to help to save you from whatever this is. You've been in some painful, painful situation with a... With a uh, nasty individual we, with this this empress reverse this is somebody that is uncaring somebody that is forceful uh, selfish overly protective materialistic mean-spirited self-absorbed individual that's who you've been with you've been with somebody that is very very selfish I feel like uh, it's been painful but this is a death it's the end. It's the end of suffering. Somebody is coming to help. It may be too late, though. It may be too late. This is moving on from a bad choice. You will be moving on from a bad choice. This is the beginning of that moving on. We have the Nine of Swords. This is a feeling ashamed again. There's feeling ashamed. You may be feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for some sort of choice that you have made. But I have to tell you that something better is coming. You are about to, um, I think that you should focus on the future and you should hope for the best. I feel like you should leave the past behind. Be optimistic, okay? I feel like the future, the past is behind you and the future is in front of you. Focus on the future. I, it feels like you have some sort of extreme worry. You maybe have fear of being accepted by somebody else. It feels like whoever you were with really, really, really hurt you. They just, they killed you, you know, they, they, they. Something like that. You know, they really, 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 really caused you a lot of pain. Um, but I feel like you allowed it. You ref you, re you refused to see it. You know, you were... Because see, this Two of Swords... The Two of Swords is refusing to see. So I feel like you've been in some sort of denial. You've been in some sort of, you know, avoiding the truth. You know? But I feel like this week there's something going down. And it's going, going to go downhill pretty, pretty fast. I feel like you've been weighed down. There's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed to you about a partnership, somebody that you have been working with, that you have been in denial about. You've been in complete denial about the whole situation. Naive. Um, 
I feel like this week there could be some sort of separation. I just got to be honest with you with that Four of Wands reversed, the Ten of Swords, uh, the Two of Swords reversed, a uh, sudden departure. Uh, with these two cards, there could be a sudden departure. All right. There could be a sudden choice. All of a sudden, you know, you run into somebody or you see somebody that sparks your interest. Maybe the universe brings some brings help. The universe is bringing some help. They're bringing somebody into your existence that you totally, totally don't expect. This person comes out of nowhere. Just saying you may you may feel like you're not worthy or you may feel like you're not good enough, but you are. Um, anyhow, Aries. Uh, I think that you should get prepared for an arrival. Uh, yeah, some, you are. Get prepared for an arrival. I think the universe is aligning you with somebody at this time. And it feels like you don't have any desire to go down this path either. You know, you're not even looking. You're not. There's no vision. There's no desire, you know. And I feel like you've been in a place of being torn. You've been torn in between, uh, you know... A partnership. You've been torn in two different directions with this Two of Swords, the Two of Swords reverse. That's indecision. You've been, um, I got a sneeze coming. I got a lot of sneezes today. <coughs> Excuse me. So. I think that there's overwhelming fear here. There's overwhelming fear of being accepted by another person. It's your own self-doubt. I feel like you have doubts of your value, doubts of your worth. I feel like you have somebody here that you will be very, very much aligned with, that you are meant to be with. That is a true love connection, but you have to open your eyes and unblock your heart and open yourself up, you know what I mean? I feel like you're you're on some you're you're like holding on you're holding on to resentment or you're hanging on to anxiety or um, you're being emotionally guarded. All right, you you really really need to look at things differently. Look at yourself differently. You're weighed down by some hurt, by some pain. You know, somebody really really stabbed you. They really 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 hurt you, and I feel like you have this over. Uh, well, this exceeding amount of fears and worry as to whether you will be accepted, you know. There's no chance in reconciliation with this person that hurt you. I think there's a, there's a chance for reconciliation with somebody from the past or a past life connection. And I just feel that very, very strongly. I think you've been dealing with somebody that is very, very selfish it could be it could be the it could be a mother, okay? It could be a wife, um, and even if you are the female watching this, it could be somebody else's wife, somebody else's mother, whatever. Um, we do have an unexpected choice though that is coming in for you. Sudden, all of a sudden, it is. You're, this is a spur of the moment decision. You're going to be making a spur of the moment decision. And it may be the, a decision uh, with that four of wands reversed. It may be a, it, it is definitely a sudden decision. It may be to separate, to separate with somebody that um, you may have felt some sort of connection with at some time, but I think it was a false connection. Just being honest with you, it may have even been just a, a sexual connection and, and you've lost passion for that or something like that. Anyhow, I do see a lack of togetherness. I see a lack of teamwork. I feel like there's an unhappiness here. It is definitely uh, a cleanup time, okay? With that Four of Wands reverse, it's time to clean up a mess. I see tears, unfortunately, um, or sadness or lack of self-love. It could be lack of self-love. Um, this is the end of suffering. I think that you're going to be giving deep thought to a relationship with that Nine of Swords reversed. I think that your gut is telling you that something is off. I think that you know that it is off. And you have another option here. You absolutely positively have another option. You have another choice. So you, you, could, you could not even be looking and run into somebody. Okay? 
this is this is like an angel bringing two people together at the right time at the very right moment now this could be somebody that is at a distance they're at a distance right now um they could be coming they could be traveling they coming traveling along your road you know traveling al al yeah that's what it is that's exactly what it is traveling along your road coming along your path maybe even uh, that's what it is. It's like you're stuck and they come to break you free. <laughs> that's liberation with that ten of swords. It is. I think you're about to be broken free from a painful situation with an individual that probably didn't take care of you, that didn't love you, that didn't even know what love is. I feel like this person um, was very shallow, very, very superficial. May have just been... Um, it may have been untruthful the whole time with that judgment card reversed. And I feel guilt. I feel like you, you're feeling guilty. You're feeling really, really, really guilty. You know, I feel like I feel like forgiveness is needed. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody has hurt you real bad. And they have made you feel like it's all your fault. You know? But I don't think it's all your fault. I don't. So anyway, I feel like this week some sort of help is arriving unexpectedly. It's totally, totally, totally unexpected. You've been weighed down by fears. You have, and anxiety. You have. This is weighed down, fears, and anxiety. Okay? You have. And by previous hurts, previous pains, you know? But I feel like all of a sudden you have this new opportunity that could... You know, that the universe or God or angels has brought in you. They have brought in you a new connection. Okay? They have. With this lover's card, that is a new connection. A new contract. A sexual connection. Falling in love. You know? A healing love. A new partner. All of a sudden, this is where you're at that crossroads. And you have to make a choice. These are both choice cards. Do you want to stay wallowing do you want to stay suffering or do you want to move into a commitment with somebody else i think there's fear of commitment i think you've been fearful of it and i think you've been fearful of it because you're you're fearful of getting hurt again and you're fearful of of making a poor choice you know because you've made a poor choice in the past you know you're really really scared of making a poor choice so you really haven't been putting in much effort to a commitment so anyway, I feel like you're you're really you could be falling in love with somebody or deepening a connection. I feel like you really need to open up. I feel like somebody wants you to open up. Um but that two of wands is a spur of the moment decision where you are placed at a crossroads and you have to choose. So that's that's what the basis I feel like of this week is. You're going to have to make a spur of the moment decision. Do you want to um join with this person for real or do you want to keep uh living in the past living with somebody that didn't value you you know there's somebody that doesn't value you here that didn't value you and i feel like you know you've been guarding your heart you need to and i think you've been really 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 worried really worried about you know getting hurt again Anyway, I think that you should hope for the best. Get prepared for an arrival, okay? Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. And I feel like whoever this person is, there's some sort of spiritual connection. All right? So that's what I got. Somebody is coming. It's going to happen very, very, all of a sudden. You're they're either in your path or you meet them at the store or they're on your road or... You know, maybe there's car issues, this person pulls over to help you, or something like that. Or they need help with their car, something to do with a vehicle, you know. Um, I don't know why I see that, I don't even have the chariot, but probably because of that, that truck up there, broken down, um, stuck. Somebody is coming to help, to help you get unstuck. They're going to change your perception if you allow them into your heart. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Who 
whoever hurt you could be anybody whoever whoever hurt you wasn't a very good mother probably when they had children or they were with somebody that didn't that wasn't a good mother or they were wanted to sleep around you know they weren't they didn't want to uh, settle down or we have a woman here that uh, whether it's you or somebody else we have a woman here that is uh, well, doesn't know her value, doesn't know her worth, very, very needy, very selfish, self-centered, uh, not, not, uh, wife material, you know, or, or you may have, if you are, if you are the woman watching this, whoever you were with that hurt you, didn't value you. They hurt you really, really bad. They didn't see your value. They didn't. They put you down. They made you feel less than worthy. You know, they made you feel like a piece of shit. If you are the woman watching this, I feel somebody who really, really caused a lot of pain. They caused a lot of pain. So anyway, I feel like this week you have an unexpected choice in love that uh, could really be the love of a lifetime. Maybe this was all part of the plan. I do think it was part of the plan. It's why something didn't work out with that three. The, the commitment that you were in didn't work out because you have somebody that is better suited for you. So get prepared. Get prepared to... I feel like even travel. There's travel here. It does have to do with... I don't know what kind of travel it is. There's travel. There is some sort of travel here. Um, that brings you together with a soulmate. Okay. But you may not see it because there's lack of vision with that Ace of Wands reverse and that Two of Swords reverse. That's lack of vision. You, it, it, it could pass you right by. It absolutely could. It could pass you right by because of your fears, your worries, your need to protect yourself. So anyway, Aries, if you are in a relationship right now and it's a happily ever relate after relationship, uh, I feel like you're with some, if it's a happily ever after relationship, it probably is the romance of a lifetime. That's, this means you are not separated with this person, okay? Um, but you need to open up. You need to open up. You need to not give the silent treatment. You need to communicate. To get unstuck, communication is key. Anyway, I would say get prepared for an arrival or a departure this week could go either way you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting something is coming something is coming I think it's help I think help is arriving and I think this help is going to take you out of a desperate situation that you have been in I feel like you're going to be moving on from a bad choice as well. But I also feel like you haven't been listening. You haven't been. And when you tell an Aries that they haven't been listening, they're like, fuck you. Fuck you. This is reality. Somebody hasn't been listening. That's the truth. Refusing to listen to any advice. Staying in some sort of committed to something where it's not working out. Whether you're in the whether you're in the commitment or not, somebody has been holding on to a commitment that is not working out. You know, maybe the, the person might not even be there anymore. Still holding on to it. It's time to accept the truth. Coming out of denial. I mean, the Two of Swords reverse is, is, is accepting the truth. You know, there could be even some lies that are exposed this week that really, really hurt you. Maybe this is the decision maker. When you hear this, when you hear this information, it gives you the, new, the information or the news or the clarity that you, that you need to see the truth and allows you to move on. Makes you make that decision that you have been reluctant to make anyway. With the lover's card, there's an unexpected choice in love. You're going to have to make a major choice. There will be consequences. If you stay where you're at, it's only going to cause more pain. 
you have an opportunity to move forward with somebody that could be a true love. It's up to you. Good luck.